How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be telling you how you can make about 27 mil an hour on a money making method that is pretty well known but has had a dramatic boost in how much money you will make doing this. At the moment frost dragons are insanely good GP. That is the method that we're going to be talking about today and this is how you can make yourself a great 27 mil an hour plus at the time of making this video. Now don't get me wrong I am fully aware that once this video does come out the prices will likely start to drop very slightly but at the moment prayer is incredibly easy to train very fast with frost dragon bones and the new powder of burials that got released into the game with Hets Oasis. Protox recently made a video talking about the powder of burials and how it affects the XP rates of doing prayer, burying bones. Burying bones is now faster and easier experience per hour for prayer while using these powder of the burials. You can get ridiculous experience rates of about 3.6 to 3.8 mil an hour going all the way up to 9 mil an hour if you use the brawling gloves which is all mentioned and all the math was done by Protox in his video so I will link his video in the description below and you can go and check that out if you're interested. So since that video release of course everybody has realized that I can do prayer stupidly quick now. It wouldn't take that long for me to get to 99, it wouldn't take that long to get to 120, it may be pricey but you can do it ridiculously fast this has pushed the price of frost dragon bones up dramatically frost dragon bones at the moment are insta selling for around about 37.7k each they are slow selling for about 38.9k each as of making this video of course this will change depending on when you are watching this video how many views this video gets and whether other people start mentioning it as well as more people go and do frost dragons the supply of them will be increased and that will bring the price of them down but you can get in there now get in there early and make a ton of money without doing all that much effort as killing frost dragons really isn't that difficult as long as you have some decent gear so if you're interested in killing frost dragons and making a ridiculous amount of money i'm going to show you how i did it to test with this video and where i got the amount of money that you can profit per hour from doing this so hopefully by the end of this video, you'll be ready to head off and make yourself an absolute fortune as well while these prices are still ridiculously high. Keep in mind, Frost Dragons have always been great money anyway, but at the moment, they're just even better. So to get to Frost Dragons, you are going to want 85 Dungeoneering and you're probably going to want to have, I'd say, 90 combat stats to make the most of this money-making method and probably a tier 90 weapon. You can do this with less, don't get me wrong. You can absolutely do this with tier 85s and that sort of stuff, tier 80s. You can come here in way less gear than what I'm going to use. But to get up to 27 towards 30 mil an hour, you're going to probably want to have tier 90s and a decent bit of gear. I would also suggest that you do have overloads to make the most out of this money-making method as well. But again, you can use this as a lower level to probably make about 15 to 20 mil an hour and this can fund all all those upgrades and stuff as well to make your way up to be able to make that money of course this will only last a certain amount of time as it's going to probably drop in price once this video is released and once more people start doing it but get in early while you can so 85 dungeoneering and probably tier 90 weapons overloads and of course ancient curses is going to help as well finally you are going to want to ideally have the upgraded bone crusher what this will do is it will allow you to pick up the frost dragon bones without having to click on anything and just continue on killing the dragons. If you just keep killing the dragons, they will automatically be picked up with the upgraded bone crusher. To get this, you need to have the original bone crusher from the Dungeoning Reward Shop for 34,000 tokens. And then you will have to take yourself to Bonnie on Waiko and you can buy the upgrade from them for 25,000 chimes and 25 taijitsu. Using this will increase the amount of kills you can get by an absolute ton, seeing as you don't have to stop to loot and you can just continue running. You can pretty much clear the entire room before they start respawning on both sides with this in your inventory. If you don't have this, don't panic. You can still make a decent amount of money from this by killing the dragons and picking just the bones up, noting the bones and then moving on. The setup that I've been using is this one that you can see here. I've been using Crippling Armor, so I don't have any bonus stats and stuff, and you can still kill the dragons before the spec comes in. But you're also going to want to bring with you a super anti-fire potion, and of course, just the best weapons that you can possibly bring. Like, you, you want to be doing as much damage as you can, as the faster you can kill these dragons, the more money you're going to make. So, of course, expect higher profit per hour, uh, the, the, the more, like, gear and stuff that you do have. Next, I have a Ripper Demon without any scrolls, just for a little bit of extra damage, but normally this thing doesn't really even reach the dragons at the speed you're going to be going. I would suggest bringing along a Bladed Die Switch, which I didn't use for the example, so that just makes it even better. You could probably push this up even a little bit further. Other than that, I bring along like four Sired Moon Brew Flasks. You don't really need to. You could probably bring two. If you have Soul Split, you don't really need any of that. It's just in case I do happen to pull maybe one or more dragons and then end up getting the spec or something like that. 
that, but chances are it, it's not going to happen. Then, of course, I would suggest bringing along some prayer potions. I've brought spiritual prayer potions. I would probably recommend just using super restores as you are not using scrolls, but these are all I had in my bank. So that's what we're stuck with using. You're going to want magic note paper. This is really important as the magic note paper is going to note up your bones. And that is obviously what you want to do to make sure you can stay as long as you can. Then I would just bring along the Enhanced Excalibur as part of your bladed dive switch as you can get healing over time. If you have access to a Dungeoneering Cape from 99, you can use this to teleport directly to the Frost Dragons by going through to more and then teleporting to the Iced Ice Dungeon Frost Dragon Dungeon. That'll take you directly there, making it a lot easier. The one equipment I would suggest is bringing the best sort of gear that you can bring as it increases the amount of kills you're going to get per hour. That being said, I wouldn't bother bringing things like Tectonic if you have access to things like Crypt Bloom, as you can kill the dragons ridiculously fast anyway, and this is a lot cheaper to repair than Tectonic is. Also, don't bother bringing Cinder Banes as the dragons are not poisonable, so I'll just bring along your enhanced Carapac wrist wraps or whatever else you have. You can bring any sort of offensive gloves whatsoever. Then you've got Blast Fusion Boots for the bonus, any sort of ring that does damage, and you want to bring a along a, uh, a book. I brought the script of Jazz just because it is ridiculously cheap to run. After that, I'm using the Maniacal Aura just because it increases DPS. If you don't use this, you can use the Madura, you can use Dark Magic, anything that's going to increase your damage, basically, as you don't really want to use Penance Aura because they're not going to be hitting you that much. Other than that, I am using the Exanguate spell, but any damage spell that you can use really will probably work. You could probably just use Air Surge. It will be absolutely fine. Uh, the, like I say, these dragons don't take long to kill. Okay, so to get to the so the dungeon, you can do one of two things. You can use your Dungeoneering Cape to teleport directly there by going through here, going to more, and then teleporting to the Ice Dungeon, Frost Dragon Dungeon. That will teleport you directly here. You can go in this room here. It will take you straight in, and there will be Frost Dragons on both sides, one here and one here. You want to run the entire room. The other way that you can get here is by teleporting to Port Sarim and then running south all the way down to the bottom on top of this hill. Climb down this trapdoor and then make your way to the north and then to the east. Once you've gone through to the east, you just want to follow it round and you'll get yourself to the Frost Dragon Dungeon entrance just over here. This will take this will bring you to exactly where the cape brings you, so it saves you that time, and you can enter here, and once again, you'll be met with both dragons on both sides. Once you are here and ready to go, all you want to do is drink your overload, your prayer renewal, and your anti-fire, and then start circling the room as you see me do on screen now. This is not going to be an AFK thing to do, as you do want to kill these as fast as possible. Of course, the more of the dragons you do kill, the more money you're going to make in the hour that you do here. As you are circling the room, your inventory will start filling up with bones automatically if you have the Bone Crusher upgrade. If not, then start picking them up with area loot and make sure you note them before the inventory fills up. If the inventory fills up, the bones will just drop to the floor. So you want to make sure that inventory is cleared up with notepaper before it does get full, otherwise you will be dropping bones to the floor. As for the other drops in the dungeon, you don't want to bother picking anything else up. There's not really much point at all. As this, of course, will clog up your inventory with random stuff that you don't need, meaning you will need note paper more often, and also just meaning it will slow down the amount of kills you can do per hour. You want to do this for basically the full hour just circling the room. With decent gear, you should be able to clear most of the dragons off as the other ones start respawning. I usually had about one or two dragons left on the other side before the ones on the other end started respawning again. So you can continually circle this room, doing as much damage as possible, picking up the bones as quick as possible. You do need to keep an eye out for the dragon's special attack, which is a blue orb that will go around the dragon. If that happens, you need to stop attacking the dragon as any damage you deal will reflect to yourself. However, if you're killing the dragons fast enough, you will never see this and I didn't see it once in this entire run. So for the sake of this video, I did a run of 10 minutes long and I just ran round in circles, clearing off of them as fast as I can. In those 10 minutes, I managed to get myself 120 frost dragon bones noted using the bone crusher upgrade. That is an insane amount of dragon bones to get considering these are around about 38k each at the moment. After the 10 minutes was up, I took the 120 dragon bones that I got to the grand exchange and I insta sold them and I got a total of 4,485,240 GP insta sell you can slow sell these for more but if i times this by six so it gives you the 60 minutes for a full hour that brings us to about a total of 27 million gp per hour that is however without taking off any costs but the cost of doing this in crypt blue armor is really not that much you're going to have to consider a little bit of divine charge you're going to have to consider the potions and other than that it's really not that bad magic no paper is ridiculously cheap at the moment and seeing as this is no food and we are not using ripper demon scrolls you only have to consider the pouch there i have no doubt in my mind that you could get more than this per hour if you brought along a blade of dice switch as I did not do so and there was quite a bit of running between each side of the room to actually get to the other side so you could have saved some time there maybe pushing this up to around about 30 mil an hour depending how fast you can go 
As for a low level player, you will be getting less kills per hour, but this is still incredible money and you will still be able to use this at the moment. Help reach those upgrades of tier 90 weapons or any better armor and anything like that, overloads unlocking, that sort of stuff. And at the moment, this is a ridiculously high good money making method to use and I hope that it does help you get whatever you want to get with the money. As mentioned already before, I know this will drop the price of the actual bones as more people start doing this. I am completely aware of that, but it's okay guys. I just wanted to get this out there, let you guys know and so you can get in on it basically before it before it goes because either way if i don't make this video eventually people will start catching on anyway someone else will make the video and it will just go the exact same way either way so i might as well tell you guys and then you guys can get in nice and early hopefully you make a nice easy amount of money from this hopefully you get anything that you wanted to get and i hope it did help if it did then do leave a like on the video subscribe to the channel if you are new thank you to the channel members who support the channel that bit extra each and every month i really do appreciate it your names are on screen right now other than that guys thank you all so much for watching i really appreciate it and i'll see you all in the next one See you later, guys. Bye.